Today we are kicking off a new series. It's called Own Your Power. And this girl right here, Donna Ferrison, because she is doing exactly that. And we are so excited because today Donna is giving us an intimate look at her very personal journey regarding her future and fertility. Yes. Hi, Donna. Hi. We love this. I'm so excited. I feel like when you hear fertility, it sounds scary, but yeah. this is actually really positive. Okay. So for the first time, I really feel like I'm entering this new chapter in my life where I feel like I'm more comfortable with who I am. Two years ago, I actually shared a conversation here about whether or not to have kids, and that got me seriously thinking about freezing my eggs. So over the summer, I did just that, and I wanted to document the process to help ease any fear that others might be having. Today, we start the process of egg freezing. Let's go. I've been thinking about freezing my eggs for two years now. This year, when I turned 32, there was like a whisper in me that said, now is the time. It feels really empowering to say that I'm single and I'm making these choices on my own. And now I want to share that knowledge. After interviewing a couple of doctors, I decided to go with Dr. James Griffo at NYU. He's been the fertility director there since 1995. The same exact medicines come from your pituitary to stimulate your ovary to select 500 eggs and release one. We trick the ovary a little bit using the same exact medicines. That you, that's why you inject them mm -hmm. every day. So you inject them, they go to your ovary, they stimulate more than one follicle to develop. So instead of getting one egg, you get 20 or 15. You've been drinking, I can see. Yes. Water. Water. Yes. Every other day, pretty much, I go into the doctor's office. They do the blood work and ultrasound. And then I inject myself two to three times a day. It's a two week commitment. Although it affects your whole cycle that month, mm -hmm. it's about six visits. The surgical procedure is relatively non-invasive. That's the right ovary. We measured the majority of the larger follicles. Mm -hmm. One of the first things you said to me when we first met was, congratulations, you are staring at the elephant in the room, which is fertility. It's not about helping you get a baby. It's helping you plan your fertile future. Because the world has changed. The average age at first birth in the whole United States is actually 30. And we've watched that trend go up a lot. And that really has an impact on a woman's ability to have a family. It is Saturday morning, 9.30 a.m. I just came out of my blood work and ultrasound appointment. I did walk by a couple who was doing it together and I thought, like, that must be nice, but also I feel fine doing it alone. It just felt a little wild that I was doing all of this in my apartment by myself. I'm like, who gave me that authority? But at the same time, you know, if I can do it, if other people can do it, we all can do it. Wait, I think I did this wrong. Now I'm stressed. And it spilled. It was so close and it spilled. Why I'm freaking out is because I, I now need to do another one and this medication is one that I had to pay for. It wasn't um, covered. Everything feels so expensive and so weighty. Okay, but we're gonna do it again. Thanks for being here with me. Elective egg freezing is an expensive process. I feel very privileged to do so through my company benefits. I honestly don't think I would do it without that. It's a really good thing for a company to say to a young woman, we value you. We know you're using your best fertile years to build your career. We want to help you. Hello, everybody. It's shot time. I've had a very positive mindset about this whole process because in my mind, that's the only way I can be. Do a little dance, make another shot, and inject tonight. It's very easy to go down a hole of, I feel alone, I don't know what my future holds, but you can also swap that and think, this is actually building a future of possibilities. That one hurt and there's blood, which feels you have to own your fertility, you have to own your choices because it's all about choice. When you start your family, how you build your family, that's what you have control over. You have no control over the outcome. It's all about owning your power. And taking responsibility for it. It is day 14 of this whole process, which means it is time for my egg retrieval. Um, I'm feeling, to be honest with you, a lot of discomfort, um, bloating, a little bit of pain. But don't I look fabulous in this outfit? See you after my nap. Bye. All is well. She, she woke up smiling. The reason this works is by putting these eggs in the freezer, 
they stop aging. So when she uses these eggs, maybe she's 39, maybe she's 41, these eggs will behave like she's 32. I just feel like really empowered and really excited and um, it wasn't scary. My hope is to buy myself a little bit of time. I don't know if this is delusional of me, but I do believe women can have it all. And I'd like that. Or at least I'd like a shot at it. Okay. Oh my gosh, we're so happy. First of all, you said so many beautiful things in that. I mean, I know there's a lot of business to talk mm -hmm. about, but the fact that you said you saw a couple go in there together and you said, wait, I own this. Mm -hmm. I thought that was so beautiful and empowering because a lot of people wait yeah. too long mm -hmm. and then that matchup maybe comes at a wrong time. Well, exactly. And to be honest with you, I wanted to treat this as I would work, which is like, I didn't want there to be any missed opportunity. Yeah. I didn't want to have any regrets. And Dr. Grippo said that regret is the number one enemy in his office. Mm -hmm. I also think it's important to note, you know, you can't control the outcome, the number of eggs yeah. you get. Yeah. Um, and also the mindset you go into it with is the mindset that will be heightened throughout the process. So actually, I think a lot of people fear that the hormones will yeah. affect you emotionally, mm -hmm. but that's actually Actually not the case. Because you were so positive. I was so positive. You felt yeah. like yes. more enthused. Mm -hmm. Right, but on top of that, estro high estrogen levels actually make you feel very positive. Mm -hmm. um, but you're positive by, by yeah, you are nature. by nature. And also, watching this is going to inspire so many yeah. people to, to, to do things on their own, to be brave, yeah. and I know that's what you're doing. There's a community here, yeah. and, and I'm excited to, to engage with them. And I also will say that, um, you know, I, I'm very pleased that our company covers this cost. I ended up spending $4,000, but I would have spent $20,000. Wow. And I think there should be a push for a lot more companies to help their female employees and, and give back to them, yeah. those who have dedicated their 20s to and their you wrote some You wrote a beautiful really, essay. I wrote a personal essay about my journey. Um, on today.com and mm -hmm. I also spoke with the cut for their how I get it done column Amazing. And you can find it in their September issue which is on newsstands now and on the cut.com by the way I love the series I love that it was your idea Thank I love you. the title own your power and I can't wait to see what you're and we next. love watching you do yes. it authentically yeah. every single Thank day you. rocked it you. way to go girl you.